Today we are going to discuss about the first lesson India and its relief features from the 10th class social studies textbook. Here relief features means nothing but the landforms of India. As we all know that our country India is a vast country. In India there are different kinds of landforms. So how were these landforms formed? So in this lesson we will discuss how were these landforms formed and what is the location what are the physical features what are the land boundaries of our country and also with this what is the longitude and latitudes we will discuss now let us have a look on the location of our country india is a country that covers the greater part of south asia our india now has only 28 states since jammu and kashmir has been converted our country now has nine union territories with Jammu and Kashmir as one new entrant and Ladakh as the other. Let us see the land boundaries of our country. Our land is surrounded by the Himalayas in the north, Bay of Bengal in the east, the Arabian Sea on the west, the Indian Ocean on the south, China and Myanmar on the northeast, and Pakistan is to the northwest. India is of a vast size and measures about 3,214 kilometers from north to south and about 2,933 kilometers from east to west. Our India is the seventh largest country in the world with a total land area of 3.28 million square kilometers. It has a total land frontier of 15,200 kilometers and a coastline of 6,100 kilometers. India, our country, is located in the northern hemisphere between 8 degrees 4 minutes to 37 degrees 6 minutes north latitudes and 68 degrees 7 minutes to 97 degrees 25 minutes east longitudes. Now let us discuss about the latitudes and longitudes. The imaginary lines which are drawn horizontally around the globe are called latitudes. And whereas longitudes, these are also imaginary lines which are drawn vertically on the globe. So, these latitudes and longitudes help us in finding exact location of a place on the earth. And these are expressed in degrees, minutes and seconds. For example, 12 degrees, 11 minutes and 12 seconds like this. About the latitudes. Just now we have discussed about the latitudes. The imaginary lines which are drawn horizontally are called latitudes. So this latitude, this word, this English word comes to us from the Latin word latitudo, which means width. And these are also called parallel lines because these are parallel to each other. The horizontal circle that goes round the globe exactly in the middle at equal distance from the north and south poles is called the equator because it divides earth into two equal parts. This is the circle designated as zero degrees latitude. The northern half of the earth is known as the northern hemisphere and the southern half is known as the southern hemisphere. Latitude is measured above the equator is from 0 to 90 degrees north and below the equator is from 0 to 90 degrees south. Counting all together, there are 181 latitudes including with the equator. A line of latitude which is located at 23 and a half degrees north of the equator is known as Tropic of Cancer. A line of latitude which is located at 23 and a half degrees south of the equator is known as Tropic of Capricorn. A line of latitude which is located at 
66 and a half degrees north is called as arctic circle a line of latitude which is located at 66 and a half degrees south is called as antarctic circle the areas above the arctic circle and the north pole and antarctic circle and south pole are known as polar regions Before then we go to land the longitudes let us know about the tropic of cancer tropic of cancer is the imaginary line at 23 and 1/2 degrees north of the equator in india tropic of cancer passes through eight states they are gujarat rajasthan madhya pradesh chatisgarh jharkhand west bengal tripura mizoram now let's see about the longitudes Longitudes are also an imaginary lines which are drawn vertically around the globe from pole to pole. These are drawn as a semicircle on the globe. The this word longitude derived from the Latin word longitudo which means length. and these are also called meridian the international meridian conference was held on 1884 to determine a prime meridian for international use then greenwich was chosen as the prime meridian of longitude setting the matter of time once and for all so this greenwich mean time is the time measured on the earth's zero degree line of longitude or prime meridian it passes through greenwich a small place near london there are 360 longitudes 180 to the east of prime meridian and 180 to the west of prime meridian the world is divided into 24 time zones starting from the greenwich meridian going east and west the width of each time zone is 15 degrees of longitude the longitudinal extent of india is 30 degrees the standard meridian of india which is 82 and 1/2 degrees east longitude passes through the middle of india as you can see from this image the vertical line the standard meridian passes through five states they are uttar pradesh madhya pradesh छत्तीसगढ़ उड़ीसा आंध्र प्रदेश नाउ लेट अस सी हाउ द ग्रीन विच स्टैंडर्ड टाइम इज फाइव एंड हाफ हावर्स बिफोर देन द इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड टाइम आवर अर्थ टेक्स ट्वेंटी फोर हावर्स टू रोटेट थ्री सिक्सटी लॉन्गिट्यूड्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी सी हाउ मच टाइम डज द सन्स रेस टेक to move from one longitude to another longitude if it takes 24 hours to rotate 360 longitudes how much time does it take for one longitude means 24 hours into 60 minutes that is equal to 14 40 minutes therefore it takes 4 minutes for the sun to move from one longitude to another longitude there are 82 and 1/2 longitudes from 0 degree longitude to 82 and 1/2 degrees eastern longitude If it takes four minutes to move from one longitude to another longitude, how much time does it take for eighty-two and a half longitude? Means eighty-two and a half into four minutes. Eighty-two into four minutes plus half into four minutes. That is equal to three twenty-eight plus two. That's we will get three thirty minutes. When we convert these minutes into hours, we will get five hours thirty minutes. Thus, the Greenwich Standard Time is five and a half hours before than the Indian Standard Time. Here we have learned about the physical features of our country, the land boundaries of our country, and longitudes and latitudes. And I will get back in the next video the, with the related topic, the relief features of our India. Till then, keep watching my videos.